Today is the day that we are going to start working on our group project about creating a superhero universe in Google Slides. Let's go ahead and first address the rules and expectations. We are going to be working with your classmates on your row, and that means that each of you will be on the same Google Slide presentation at the very same time. And it can work easily if you work together. So here are some rules that we want to focus on. Number one, respect all ideas. Everybody's going to have some ideas and suggestions. You don't need to all be talking at the same time, so give everybody their chance to speak and be thoughtful of each other. The next thing is to stay on task. That means it's very important that you only focus on this project. We don't need other conversations about anything else. And to stay on task, I've even helped you with inserting a video for each slide number. And all you have to do is hover over here and click on the video and it will start playing. And then it will tell you how many minutes you have for that slide. And the last thing is ask for help within your group first. So I'm here to help you, definitely, but don't ask me questions until you've asked the people in your group. So let's go ahead and let's look at the expectations that we have for today and realizing that this is more than a one day project, it's gonna take a couple of weeks, maybe even three, that we can just focus on what needs to happen today. So one tip that I'm going to go ahead and show you is that if you are typing and all of a sudden where it says enter name here, that disappears, to be able to type, you have to have a text box. So if any time during this project you lose your text box, all you have to do is come up here where it says T for text box and click it, and then you'll notice your cursor is that plus sign. Hold your left click down and then just drag it over and then you can start typing inside. And then you can even adjust the font and the font size. But hopefully if it has this on it, it will adjust. If you type too much, it will adjust the size of your font so it will get smaller and you can fit everything in that text box. A great thing to do on some of these slides, you might have two people that can type at the same time, and then on some slides, you can have only one person typing. So I'll be showing you which ones are which, and I'll probably even add some notes on the side so you understand. So let's go ahead and focus on day one. Day one, let's focus on getting slide one by adding your team members names here and also your universe name and then focus on slide two. And then I also want you to each of you be working on your individual slide for your superhero. So the first thing I want to do is just walk you through each slide. This first slide is the title slide where you're going to be entering your name and team members name. First, the next slide is talking about what is the universe and just typing in a few sentences. And then the second part is how do the superheroes know each other? Do, are they on a team together? Are they actually enemies? Or do they share a city? You get to decide as a team and then type the answers. The next set of slides, slides three through seven, each person on your team will have their own slide. And you're going to be doing this in the computer number order. So whatever your computer numbers are, you'll see that a sticker on your monitor, that is the order that everything will be listed so there's no confusion. So for the first one, um, all these slides are the same and you will have a timer on here as well. You have five minutes to work on the slide. But you'll enter your superhero's name, you'll enter the powers here just by clicking here, and then you'll have your origin story. How did you, you begin? Like how did you get your um, how did you get your power? And then your additional details is costume or maybe your weaknesses, some your, of your allies, people that are on your team that you can they can help you. Maybe you have um, a sidekick, and then enemies. So that's what you'll be doing here. You have to add the image of our superhero. So to do that, you're going to go back to last week's project, which you'll find on Google Classroom. You're going to click this right here, and then you should be able to find your final version of your superhero. You were supposed to group your superhero elements together, so when you click, everything's all together. And then all you have to do is make sure you click, use this keyboard shortcut control, hold that down, and then C as in copy, and then go right here, and then control and V. And then you have your superhero right there and you can size it how you like and place it right under here. And then everybody's superhero can be included in this Google slide presentation. If you did not group your superhero together, it's really simple as just holding down your left click and 
hovering over all of those, you'll see how it's all grouped together. And then right click and you should see group option right there. Right now mine says ungroup because I've already grouped them, so I'm not pressing that. But if you see the word group, that means you have not grouped them yet and you can choose that. Now we're going to go to the next section. The next section is the villain, and three people can type at the same time on this one, but you have to make sure one person types the answer to who is the main villain, the other person can type what is their goal, and then the third person can type how do the superheroes work together to stop them. And so again, three people can type at the same time on this one, just make sure you're only typing in your section. That one, you have five minutes as well. Then we have this next slide is one short adventure or mission that superheroes can go on together. One person can type on this slide and you work together though to, to figure out your short mission. So that is something that when we get to the slide that y'all talk about it together. And the very last slide, all the people on your team can be working on this slide at the very same time. Again, go in computer order number and that way it will help you know what order is what. So you'll enter your, your name here and then one sentence about what you've learned in this project. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I hope I've given you enough information to get you started. Have fun, be creative, and let's work together to make our superhero universe success. I'll catch you next time.